Now here's a bike that at first sight could look as though it's covered in carbon fibre, but in fact this isn't carbon fibre, is it? What is it? This is carbon Kevlar. It's a weave of carbon, which is the black and the yellow Kevlar. And, and what's the big difference then? What's the advantage? I haven't seen it before. Is it brand new? It's not brand new. It's been around for a long time. It's not always seen. Quite often it's sprayed over on race bikes and etc. The Kevlar is a much stronger, tougher material than carbon. Carbon is very light and strong, but Kevlar is a, a grade above that. So a combination of the two, you get great strength with lightness. Yeah, so the lightness, is, I guess there's no real difference between the two in lightness. It's the strength thing, is it? No, to get to, to, for comparable strength, you would need more carbon fibre than carbon Kevlar. Oh, would you? Yes. Yeah, right. And so are there any problems with it? I mean, why haven't people been using it more? It's difficult to get the right look. Some of these parts, the, these have not been designed for display. They've just been designed as a product. Normally it would be sprayed and you wouldn't see the finish. I wanted to create an impression and show something a bit different so we've got the finish like this. But because of the two different strengths of the material it's difficult to get a very clean sharp finish to any product. All oh, right, so you've got to watch that. Even hand finishing, you get a bit of a problem. Even hand finishing, you can't get it exactly smooth. Right, but, but that can add to this sort of magic of a, a bit trick then, a bit it's, special. It's, this. it's going to be a bit different, but, yes. Yeah, that, that's good. And what about price-wise? Is that comparable or is this more expensive or what? Price-wise, it varies immensely. And uh, where carbon and carbon Kevlar is concerned, you, you get what you pay for. It's expensive. But uh, I would like to think that mine is competitive as well. Yeah. And if you really want to be different, I mean, you've got to ride around with it looking like this. Absolutely you? right. Yeah. I would recommend this to everyone with a VTR or any other bike that we do for. OK, thanks a lot.